So as most of you guys know, diet is a huge part of a wrestler's lifestyle. Making sure you're getting the right ingredients, the right foods, the right fuel to prepare your workouts, to feel your workouts, to make sure you feel good, to make sure you're recovering. I'm training for the 2020 Olympics. I'm about eight weeks out um, doing a high protein, low carb diet. Uh, this is a really great moment for, for me to, to try to prove to myself that I can shrink my body down and, and make the weight and perform to the best of my ability. Um, I'm hoping that my body fat percentage goes down, my body composition goes down, and I'm hoping that my general like weight, obviously by doing that, goes down also. About 10% hydrated, like around 134, 135. Um, so six out of the six days of the week, I will be having um, no carbs, and then I will have a cheat day where I am able to, to eat, uh, consume some carbs uh, going into the next week. So all of my lifting, all of my lift training is going to be dedicated to kind of high intensity where I'm lifting, pulling for muscular endurance. I mean, I guess maybe I am burning some of the muscles a little bit, but not for building, but just for the more the endurance piece of it. So to kind of thin out the muscles a little bit, uh, there's going to be a lot of conditioning, just move the weight, sweat it out kind of conditioning. So my current weight right now, after having a whole meal and drinking whatever, you know, all the hydration is 145. So your boy's not little. The last three weeks I have been lifting pretty heavy and kind of just putting, you know, putting on some, getting those muscles, I guess. So now I guess it's time to shrink them. Um, I feel like I do have more muscular endurance and such, but the one thing that I haven't seen that much in my time is really kind of discussing the mental um, struggles and mental anxiety and issues and fear that come with uh, the weight cut, which really, really has an, an effect on performance. So one of the reasons why I am documenting this, um, other than giving up secrets of the trade to be, or so to speak, is because I think that it's important that we kind of nail down some of these topics and just make it a little bit less stigmatized that's why i love wrestling because wrestling challenges you in so many ways it challenges you to face your fears and it teaches you self-control and self-discipline it teaches you about uh, weight management it teaches you about the mental edge um, within competition and a huge part of that i think any wrestler would, would tell you this um, or at least 95 90 percent of wrestlers will tell you this, that a huge part of their sacrifice, their dedication, the hardship, and the mental edge come from weight management and weight control. The ability to do that is one of the things that I feel makes us one of the strongest, uh, this one of the strongest and most character building sports. That being said, I'm gonna go into Wegmans, grab some some meats and some stuff, and uh, every person's a little bit different, and I'm just trying to find out what's gonna work for me so that I can perform uh, to my highest ability when the time comes and for me right now that time and that vision is to Tokyo gold in Tokyo I've done a lot of extreme dieting for sure have abused food you know saunas and other certain things like that so I'm trying to actually avoid doing all that by uh, sticking to a diet that's going to work for me every person every body is, is different and it's gonna react to, to different things in different ways on day one and I've noticed this sense of that fulfillment that fullness that you get from carbs and that you get from chips and cookies and desserts and those kind of things that lack of fullness is there it, it's almost like you're like oh that's it uh, it keeps you it gives you the sense of wanting more so right now I feel like it's more of like a mental thing and like a body adjustment thing than than anything I would say I have a relatively good diet I think even with the amount of sugar and with the amount of processed foods and these things can be a lot and therefore can affect you in a greater way too. There it is. Very uncarby. Very uncarby. So for tonight's meal, we are gonna have a little cauliflower. I, uh, oh. I'm using this ghee butter. We're gonna do a little chicken sausage. So we'll see how it turns out. The process right now. Here's my concoction. Beautiful. It is, it tastes delicious. I am legit impressed. She says it's not goulash. So wrong. I'm saying it is goulash. <laughs> it's my goulash. Here's my snack. This is day two. This morning I'm waking up with some apple cider vinegar. Green tea. 
some water. I'm probably not gonna eat, it's like nine o'clock right now. I'm probably not gonna eat till like after 12, probably. Uh, I'm not super hungry at all. I feel a little bit bloated. To be honest, a little, a little maybe constipated. Use the restroom, number two, number two. So, and maybe that's the case of, of maybe an additional, um, an enzyme or something to break down the protein. You know what, scratch that. I am looking for it to be easier because that's one less thing I have to think about when it comes to training and when it comes to putting my all my effort into my dream. I'm getting ready to do my first workout. I'm not gonna film it, but we'll see how I feel after it's done. I don't generally work out on Sundays, but uh, this week they just happen to fall on a Sunday. So we're gonna do a little like, uh, just move some stuff around and just get the cardiovascular that got her vascular energy up. Uh, fun little s conditioning workout. Uh, gonna hit the sauna for maybe like 20 minutes. Uh, maybe uh, throw a little basket in the a ball in the basket. I don't even know what this is doing in my hands. I can't play worth crap, but I'm, I don't know. I just feel really full. So I'm gonna grab an enzyme, a protein enzyme, to kind of break down some of that stuff. I've only eaten one time today, and it was basically the same thing I had yesterday. It was the egg sausage goulash scramble thing, which was delicious. That's pretty much it for me today. So.